uncharted territory for Pittsburgh's VA hospital. The hospital partnered with UPMC to perform the VA's first ever living donor liver transplant. Dr. Maria Simbra spoke with the veteran who received the liver and his daughter who helped save his life. Timothy Yablonski's liver was failing. They said it was stage four cirrhosis, non-alcoholic, like a fatty liver disease type of thing. He needed a transplant. He tried to get on the list for a deceased donor, but his doctors were concerned. They just considered my case urgent, and he said, you're not going to be able to wait for a, a deceased donor. Turns out help was very much alive and immediately available from his adopted daughter. You do what you can for the people you love. She was my wife's daughter, but she wasn't my biological daughter. So I didn't even know that she was eligible for something like this. As an Army veteran, Yablonski was eligible for care through the VA hospitals. But live donor liver transplants had not been done before through the VA. I'm the first one. The operation happened at UPMC on March 16th, or 316, as Yablonski points out, which for him has spiritual significance. I consider John 316, day of promise. It's a large team that has to do this. There's uh, uh, two simultaneous operating rooms going, where we have one for the donor and one for the uh, for the recipient. The first part of it involves removing a portion of, uh, of the donor's liver. It takes literally the whole day. The donor's liver grows back over several months. Somehow it all felt right and I wasn't nervous. At the time, hospital visitors were not allowed. My wife, you know, has been there throughout this whole thing. She wasn't able to be up there with us. Yablonski has to be on medicines to suppress his immune system so he doesn't reject the liver. That has to be balanced against the risk of doing uh, a transplant at a time when there's the potential for a higher risk of infection. But the risk of not doing the transplant was greater. Dr. Humar points out there are not enough deceased liver donors to meet the need, and live donors help to fill the gap. And while the procedure is more common in other parts of the world, in the U.S., only 5% of liver transplants are done with a live donor. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.